Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will be playing some FIFA 21. I've played this game a bit, but um, nothing much. So uh, let's get right into it. I'm going to be starting a Newcastle career mode, hopefully posting every single day. And uh, just downloading the latest squads. Um, uh, I was actually watching the Newcastle game earlier today. Sadly, they lost 4-1. Um, I am a gigantic Newcastle fan, and, uh, I mean, I don't really care about what my manager looks like, but this is my new channel, and I'm pretty excited about it. Since this is called Yeet Man, this channel, um, I'm going to name our guy Yeet Man. And I am from the USA, so I'm going to make our dude from there. As you all know, it's probably pretty pretty rough times around the world. Coronavirus. It's especially bad here. Yeah, as you could probably know there, um, I am a gigantic LAFC fan. I live in Oak Park, California, which is a suburb of LA. And, uh... Well, enough about me. Let's get into the career. Where's Newcastle? Okay, there's Newcastle. So, there's many different things. I'm not that good at FIFA, so I have it on professional difficulty. International job offers. I'm not sure if I want them enabled or disabled. May as well just go with enabled. So, I'm going to do a $10 million financial takeover. So, uh, let's just get into it. Why not? Football is back, as you can see on the screen. So, I have pretty high expectations for this thing. I mean, I've kind of planned it all out because I'm really nervous about this. I have never filmed a YouTube video. I've never been on YouTube. Now, I'm just here. Literally, my stomach is doing circles. You have no idea how nervous I am. While well, you're probably just watching this at home, like three years in the future because I have no viewers as of right now. No viewers. No subs. Actually, I think I might have one sub, but whatever. That's just me. Well, um, uh, I am a kid, so I do have a video game time limit. Um, may as well set that. There we go. So create new career. So I'm going to have some on-camera careers and some off-camera careers, as you can probably know. The off-camera careers will be off-camera. So let's get this career mode set up. I'm calling it on-camera, so when I'm switching between the two. And just give it a sec. So, I'm not sure which one I want to choose here. I like going with the ones I think I can win, but have some decent money. I mean, this is kind of like in the middle. It's not the cheapest, but it's not the highest paying. I think I can do pretty well in this one, though, so may as well do it. Why not? So, there's some. I'm big on free agents, and I love free agents. But first, let's take a look at this. Actually, you know what? First, I want to check some of the free agents before other teams beat me to it. Yeah, this is... Yeah, I'm definitely not starting Carol. So, let's see. One I know, I think he's the best free agent out there. Jose Maria Sodero. And I think he's like 28 or 29. And he's an 82 rated central attacking mid. He's pretty good. You can probably hear my remote pretty loud right now. So let's see, has anyone gotten to him? Ah, oh, dang it. Basel beat me to him. Well, whatever. There's also this goalkeeper named Lunyev. He's actually kind of young. Lunyev. 
leave. Okay, well, I could have sworn transfer sign free. So, um, uh, as you can see there, that's my dad. Whatever. Just uh, looking for this Lunave guy. I'm assuming someone has picked him up. Yeah, someone took him. I'm not even shocked. But I'm um, uh, someone who I know is not a free agent. You probably know him yourselves if you know anything about soccer. Kyungar Soyunju. He is pretty young. He's a really good center back. So I'm just gonna. Ay, ay, ay. These things. So I'm um, uh, I'm just gonna have him in the transfer hub for now. Let's go uh, sort out this team. We have like forty million dollars in the budget. Um, not ideal, but um, it'll have to do for now. We're not exactly what you'd call one of the greatest in Europe yet. I hope to be there someday, though. Three one four two. Yeah, you may think this is a really attacking formation. Actually, no, I won the 3 4 1 2. This is a pretty attacking formation, but I kind of like it. So, when I was talking about uh, that guy, Soyanju, I was going to put him here instead of Mankyo because you can see he's a right wing back. And if I know anything about soccer, right wing backs don't play too well at center back. So, um, also, I want to put Aoyuran in there. Do -do -do -do. And then I'm probably going to get a center back somewhere in there to start sorting this team out. Shaw. And um, uh, we will get a new striker. I'm actually kind of eyeing up Calvert-Lewin. He's been doing wonders in the Prem right now. But yeah, there's some really good young talents in this team. I think we can make a lot of money off of. Like some of them are Lewis up there in the starting lineup. Mankio, Yedlin. Hurt for me to see my other American go, but whatever. That's the risk you take. Um, uh, there's some other dudes such as Murth Murphy. I might like to sell. Um, yeah. I've never heard this young guy. Whatever. Um, so I think I'm gonna go eye out some guys. Wait, now first I should transfer list some dudes. So, clearly we got some good players out on loan. I mean, if there's anyone I need, I might try and bring them back. Craft, transfer list, Yedlin, transfer list, Mankeo, transfer list. Actually, I'm going to look to sell Hayden also. Aaron's, get rid of him. Frazier, not exactly what you call great, so get rid of him. Atsu, out. I'm gonna try and make a lot of moves. This is some Gary guy. Whatever. He's no, he's not actually that young. Yeah, he's probably never gonna play in the series. Um, but just looking around, not the greatest players. Not much to work with to start. Is this why Yannick Torre? I thought it was Yaya Torre for a second. So Muto is out on loan. That's interesting. Um, Carol, he's gonna end up going. Carol for me is just too slow, too old, and way too bad. So, I really need a center mid. Alright. Oh, whoa. Actually, could probably get lost this cheek. Now that I think about it. Oh, he's on loan. Of course. Whatever. May as well get Soyunchu while we're at it. I think I might actually be able to seal the deal for him for about 20 million. Let's hope this works. 20 mil? Whoa. Okay, I did not see that coming. 
So Yenchu is a really good player that I really want. Who's this Lewis Cook guy? Never heard of him. Whatever. He's pretty young, and we're kind of in desperate need of a center mid, so may as well buy him. Oh, I just remembered Bournemouth are now in the championship. He's probably horrible. I mean, offer transfer fee. Would 10 mil do it for this kid? Oh, 10 mil. Okay, he may not be great, but I mean, I can deal with basically whatever. So he wants an important squad role. For me, what squad role they ask for, that goes a pretty far way. If they ask for normal playtime, that means, oh, they're probably pretty good. If they ask for like a rotation role, then I'm probably going to say no, unless I'm looking for someone who is supposed to. So 75 rated and young. Really, I offered to write on his value. It's kind of weird. Did any of you guys find that weird? Leave it in the comments down below. So, Cook goes in the starting 11. So, I'd like to get Fernandez out of here. So, I'm... Now that I think about it, I saw Lejeune was on loan at Alaves. He's the same rating, but a few years younger. So, I might just bring Lejeune back. And uh, try and sell this guy. So um, I'm going to just make a B team while I'm at it. Normally I just call my B teams B. Keep it simple. And I don't really like to type. Um, Yeah, I'm actually going to start Hendrick. So. Oh yeah, what am I doing? I should probably sign Calvert-Lewin first. I think I could probably get Calvert-Lewin for 20 million maybe. That's also what I thought was Soyunju, but Soyunju is higher rated and better. So, oh. Oh, dang. Really? Calvert Lewin's young. Okay, I might go with 25 million. Okay, this, this guy looks kind of good. I'm also going to end up bringing in some young talents. Um, for transfer fee. One, two. Mid offer, please accept. Dang, they want 42 million. Um, counter, player swap. So, um, what I've noticed is there's this young guy called Lewis. Oh no, he's only worth 8 million. I thought he'd be worth more. Whatever, um, we yeah, can't. I remembered we want, if we want to get rid of Fernandez. So, propose new transfer fee. Edit that to Then I also have some spare money to So they you know what? End this negotiation. Surely there's someone else. Um I really don't know any really good strikers. Um Give me a second to think here. If I'm actually normally stumped, I probably do something like this. I go to a pretty big league about the quality of the player I'm looking for. No, no transfer status. And then I actually am um, a release clause. And then select his position. So I'm looking for a striker. Prime quality. Mousse. Martial. Okay, he is way too much money. So maybe not the Prem. Bundesliga. Let's try the Bundesliga. Fulkberg. Oh, yeah, he's kind of good, isn't he? But he's kind of old, so. This is Gonzalez, kid. I kind of like this Gonzalez kid at first sight. He might not be too good, though. Here, um, let me get my other computer in here and do some research. You might call this kind of cheating. 
But um, uh, I just call it doing research. So my other computer's a bit laggy. So his name is Nicolas Gonzalez. So he's 75 rated with a potential of 83. That's not exactly what I'm looking for because I mean, that's not even all that much better than Joe Linkton. By the way, he had a horrible game today. So I'm actually probably gonna use this thing to, um, uh, here, let's see, what is that? Um, So, I'm trying to scan out some dudes. Um, uh, position, of course, we want a striker. And, isn't there a league for this? So, yes, there is a league. Um, let's check out who we got in the Irva Dizzy. They sometimes have pretty. Ha Ooh! Irva Dizzy, Malin should come up. Yes, Donoyel Malin. Or do I go for this Boadu guy? I feel like this Boadu kid might be good. He's 75 rated, but he has a crazy high potential, and he's only 19. So, you know what? I'm going to stick to Malin. Danielle Malin. I already know who I want. First option on the list. So, $41 million release clause. Let's see, maybe the one Isaac Hayden. I think Isaac Hayden's worth quite a lot. So let's see, offer Trent, no, player swap. So I wanna go to midfielders. Let's see, we got Isaac Hayden. And then offer a transfer fee, I say we had 20 million in there. I'd say that is a solid deal. Oh. Oh. This, this is tempting for me. This is, this is tempting. Pose new transfer fee. 35 million. Let's go. Now we just gotta secure Malin, and then we got some someone we really want. Oh no. I just realized we need money for a mid. Actually, Hayden might not be the worst mid. We could just play Hayden. So um, he's probably gonna be a crucial player. I don't know if you guys know what insane bargain we just got there. I mean, Malin is amazing. I'm in love with this kid. I played him on Ultimate Team in FIFA 20. Awesome. So, how much do we offer him? I'm thinking about 82,000 a week. Please accept, man. Let's go. Malin in the team. By the way, I always overshoot my wage offers. So, yeah, 78 rated. Absolute god. Your contribution. What is this email? Okay, apparently they're saying I'm doing good work. Never a bad thing to hear that. So. Malin in the team. Get him, uh. Wait, no. Hayden actually isn't playing. I forgot I had signed Cook. So, I'm going to start sorting out this team. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I really... So, you guys probably haven't heard of this kid, but there's this crazy good young talent at Dortmund, Giovanni Reina. 
Um, I'm hoping to bring him in as maybe like a sub. He's not exactly what you'd call prem starting quality, although he's been performing r great in real life. Giovanni Reina. And he's 17, so he's crazy young. So, Dortmund might want Jamal Lewis. So, and we're trying to get rid of Jamal Lewis. Double backs. Yeah, or do we get rid of Mankio? I think I could negotiate a better offer for Lewis and Mankio. So, they want Dwight Gale and some money. Hmm... I'm not sure about this. Pose other exchange player. Other striker. Let's go with Andy Carroll over Gale. Let's go. Just need to negotiate this. I th I'm not sure how much it'll take. I really hope I got some money in the bank. Yeah, I don't have any. Okay, I have plenty. I have plenty. Considering his skill, I think I'm a... Uh, oh, wow. I was going to offer him like 20000 That's I just got a bargain there. I just realized I forgot to get my water. So I might do that at some point later this episode. So. Reina. Oh, I didn't know he was 70. I thought he was like 68 or 69. So let's see. Where is Dummit? Okay, Dummit can go there. Um. I'm trying to think of someone who would be willing to play a cam. Oh, who's this guy? I've never heard of him. He's young. Vilka Bieta. Have any of you heard of him? Put that in the comments down below. And then I'm hoping to get rid of Darlow also, so put the Gillespie there. So, this isn't what you'd call one of those great Premier League teams, but it will have to do. I think this is our team for the first year. Not exactly great, but I think we can power through with it. Team sheets, of course. Like a B team. Just so you know, I'm like the most energy conservative guy on the planet. So I'm, uh, let's get Joe Linkton in there. Gale. Vilka B. Beteta. I think that's how you say it. Um, Hendrick is. Um, who do we put on the right? I guess we could play Atsu there. Because he does have that extra talent. Put Longstaff in there. Oh yeah, by the way, I love the Longstaff brothers. They're pretty good, and they're also really young. Um, yeah. Center back problem might be a big problem. So, let's see. What other center backs we got here? Come on, you're not telling me. So, we actually might keep Fernandez after all. I am there. So, and then Char, um, I think Kraft could play there. I mean, it's only minus one. He does have that center back playing ability. So, whatever. We'll have to deal with it. 
So this isn't a shabby B team. And then I'm uh some backup strikers. Maybe this Tory guy and I'll bring Muto back from loan. So um Aaron's might not be half bad. So, um, I'm still debating what I should do here. Let's see what youngsters we got. He's all just throw young there. It's only a sub on the B team, so it doesn't really matter. On um, Char there. And then I do want to put Gillespie in. And then... Darlow. So, um... Now one thing left to do. I mean, actually two. We have to bring two guys back from loan. Do we have the money, though? We are low as heck on money. So... How much would that go into in transfer budget? Actually, no, I take that back. This should be plenty. Because Muto's only 72 and Lejeune's only 77. So that is really good. Um, uh, squad hunt. Oh yeah, and then Freddie Woodman is also out on loan. He is amazing. Or at least he can get amazing. So Lejeune, back from loan. Oh, whoa, that cost way less than I thought. So where is he? Muto, Muto. Yoshinori Muto. I, pro I probably screwed that up. Please do not bully me in the comments, if anyone comments. So player returns from loan and other player returns from loan. Get Fernandez at the starting 11. Yoshiniri Muto. Oh no, my bad. Wrong. Wrong guy for that one. Not Muto. Lejeune is the one who goes there. So and then we'll make Muto a sub striker on the other team sheet. And then we will get into some gameplay. So Yeah, the first part of this episode has been really boring. I'm truly sorry about that. If you play FIFA, you should... Act I'm going to be skipping a lot of training days, by the way. I'm just going to warn you before. I'm actually just going to sim all these games. See what happens. This is kind of the boring part of FIFA. It's the simming. So, um, speaking of simming, FIFA added this really awesome new feature, Interactive Match Sim. Oh, so 3-1 win against Monaco, that's good. Um, uh, 3-2 loss to Besquitas. How do we beat Monaco but lose to Besquitas? Whatever. 2-0 win against Renez. Okay, well, we got Porto in our next match. Whoa, what is this? Hayden transfer offer. Okay, um. So, oh, wow. These are a lot of offers. Longstaff, I'm not letting go. I just love that kid. Yedlin, though. I think we should probably try and get 7 million maybe out of this. 7 mil. Wait, do they have any good players we could use? 
Ooh, they have a lot. I just realized something. Well, whatever, um... Oh, it's new transfer fee. Seven million, will they accept? Okay, they're sticking to their offer. I really want to get this guy out. So I'm just going to accept it. Screw it. Bad deal on our end. So, let's talk about Hayden, though. I think I'm going to accept this. I mean... actually maybe i'd actually probably use um use staff probably also save it up for next year maybe later in the transfer window you never know so i think i'm actually going to play this full game with the b team you may think i'm crazy well I'm actually, yes, I am playing with the B team. As I said earlier, I am crazy about just energy, so I saw my A team was pretty tired. So this is my B team. Whoa, what is happening? Is well, this in team management while we're at it. So I see that Char is, no. So I completely forgot about this Kiaran Clark guy. He is pretty good from what I know, so may as well give him minutes. Long staffs. We don't exactly... I mean, Hayden might be going soon, and he's really good, so I think I might give him some minutes. Bill Cabietta, never heard of him. So, um, let's get into it. So this is my actual first full match played on FIFA 21. Oh yeah, I forgot they choose the jerseys for you in this. So, let's get into it. Forget the training drills. I honestly think it's stupid that they do training before matches. Leave in the comments down below what you think of it. Oh, why did I do that? Oh yeah, that's a new thing in FIFA. Oh, and by the way, I like I don't know any skill moves. By the way, this video is not sponsored. Just may as well mention it. Okay, block Clark. Oh no. Oh, offside. I thought they were through there. Oh. Trying to thread the ball through for, I think it was Gale there. Get their craft. Oh, I thought that went in. Um, one important thing for me in FIFA is never get mad. I mean, it always is a big thing with mindset on the pitch in real life, but in FIFA, it's just as big. All right, um, book up. Oh, dang it, dang, Pepe just got the ball there. Good challenge. Hi, Jolington. So, go 
Linkton back on the ball. Oh, through! Oh no, why did I take that shot? I think that was blocked. Aw, oh, dang it. I don't know why I shot that. I thought Raina would get there earlier. Oh. oh what a save. What a save. Oh, Jolington! Oh. Jolington! Let's go! 1 0! First goal of the career mode. Right there. Jolington. Horrible game in real life. So far, having a good game here. Um, uh, well, let's try and grab another. I mean, it doesn't hurt to win by two. Although it means nothing in these single elimination games. Oh no. So something I really am hoping happens in FIFA 22 is... In preseason tournaments, it's always the same format. I'm hoping they can have different formats for different tournaments. Like, if there's fewer teams, it's just one group. I mean, yeah. It's just one, like, kind of mini league. And then if it's more teams, it's like a, just a bunch of single elimination. Oh, as we grab another with the young American, Giovanni Reina. I'm in love with this kid. This guy... Is going to do great things for Newcastle United in the future of this career mode. So, Isaac Hayden running around this maybe last game. Good interception, Atsu. Take the long shot. May as well go for it. Nothing to lose. Alright, half time. I'd say that is a pretty good first half. We're leading 2-0 against a Champions League side, I think. Not 100 percent sure. But I know Porto are good. Well, let's get into the second half. Hopefully we can close this thing out. Seriously, I, I don't want to lose this. Jolington, through the game. Oh my god. What was that shot, Vilka Bieta? You know what? I may as well check if anyone's tired. Um, Vilka Bieta seems, nah. We'll wait a bit. And then Reyna's also starting to get a bit tired over there. sure why I'm a, one of the long staffs has the number four. Oh, oh, what a pass. <sighs> Vilka Bateta. Now it's Vilka Bieta to Vilka Bateta. Sorry, I suck at name pronouncing, and there's like a bajillion different names in FIFA 20. I mean, FIFA 21. I gotta get used to saying this stuff. I mean, you guys should understand. It's only been out for like a week now, I think. No. Good pass. Actually, no. Why am I saying good pass? He screwed himself over to have to make that pass. Oh, no. Aw, oh, dang it. I thought one of the players on the other team run was uh, on my team. But they're craft. All right. So, what's happening? Okay. Maybe about now is the time we bring on Saive for Vilka Beteta. 
And maybe also on um, uh, errands for Reyna. And then probably some point later in the match, um, maybe like a... Maybe Gale for Muto or something like that? I don't know. We'll see how stuff pans out. But for now, I'm just going to focus on getting this dub. Alright, Jaleps with a decent catch there. Oh no! Oh, whoa, I thought that was going right to- Oh, nice bicycle. Oh, let's go. Gale, Gale. Gale on the ball. Your link Tom, long bomb! Oh my god. I gotta stop taking these long bombs with the B team. It's a stinking B team. I mean, really, man? Whatever, hopefully we can win it back up in their half, or not, or maybe just in our half. Oh, good move to get around him, but sadly we did not get the ball from that. How can we get the header in our favor? And just, just like that, that wasn't too hard, so I'm not sure why he made that pass. Long staff on the ball, Saive. Oh, Atsu. Actually, no, why am I blaming Atsu for that? It's my fault. I, sh I shouldn't have played that pass. Aaron's. Oh, what? Hmm? Does anyone else think that should be a PK? Anyone else? Anyone out there? Oh my. Please. Okay, the LinkedIn's fine. Maybe another long bomb? No. That, that just deflected. Alright, let's look at subs now. Alright, I think we're gonna be taking Gale off for Muto. Oh no. Oh, oh, what? I thought that was going out. Oh, good save, Jalepsi. I think that was almost an own goal. Pretty sure Fernandez got his head to that. Oh. Alright. 2 1. Come on. Come on, man. We cannot lose this. Why am I thinking this is a final? This is only the semis. Plus, it's only a preseason tournament, so if we do lose... I don't even want to win this thing for the silverware. I want to win it for the money. That extra transfer money, I mean... Could buy someone big in January. If that, um, uh, Hayden sale goes through. I hope it does. No. Are you kidding me? It's 2 2. Full time. Oh, it's straight to PKs. No, I suck at PKs. So. Hmm. You really got no one on the pitch that's good at PKs. May as well do this thingy with Atsu. Oh. Uh, Let's go. Score that. I think he's going to shoot this way. Jalepsy, let's go. Um, uh. There? Oh, no. Oh, we got lucky there. I was freaking out. Come on. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> what a freaking shot. So, um, uh, please score, Muto. Oh, what a shot. What a shot from Yoshinari Muto. Oh, he missed it. He 
we score this, we win the game. Come on, Joe Ellington. Oh, no. Come on. Phillips. What a save! Actually, that looked kind of lame. But whatever. We got the dub. We got what we need to get done. And I think we're going to play the final. And then that's going to be it for this episode. But, well, let's go! There is nothing wrong with that. I mean, we shouldn't have even been in penalties in the first place, but I will take what I can get. If we get the win, we get the win. But we were playing the final with our A-team. Our first game with the A-team. That sounds weird. Our first game should have been with the A-team. Oh, the Hayden deal went through. And we got some more money. Oh, reversing Monaco. As you can see over there, um, we actually beat Monaco 3-1 earlier in this tournament. So let's see if we can beat him again. I think I am better than the Sim, so if the Sim beat him 3-1, I should be able to beat them 3-1 myself. So, Longstaff? Oh no. Yedlin sold Almiron transfer. Shelby. Craft. Oh. You know what? I think I might accept the craft offer. Oh, whoa. There's a lot here. So, Almiron, hell no. I'm in love with this kid. He used to play in MLS, so it's kind of a big deal for me and my dad. So, shall we? Not exactly the offer I'm looking for. Fernandez. I'm going to reject it on craft. I'm actually going to accept. Is I didn't realize we had Clark beforehand. So. Alright. How does this Cook kid pan out? This young Cook guy. I'd never heard of him before today. So, um, uh. Oh. We're rocking some sweet black kits this game. They look good. Well, let's do this thing. Oh, I suck at these training drills. Yeah, whatever. Forget them. So currently our best player is Martin Dubravka. But whatever. So we are underway in the final. Don yell Malin Preston. Shelby. Come on, Shelby. I know you're old. Oh no. They're on the counter. Ejun. Oh whoa. How is that not a foul? Okay, we got away with that one. I'm not sure how. Oh, dude, that's way too dangerous. That's way too dangerous, Dubravka. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, Miguel. Oh, Hendrix. All right. Come on, Char. They're trying to score, now we have to make it so they don't score. Oh no. Well, I mean, I didn't really care about this, so it's not that big of a deal. But I would have liked the extra, like, what, $6 million, I think it is? Or, we might just score right here with Hendrix. Oh my god! 1-1 one, one. with Newcastle. When you get hit on, you hit right back. Wait, was that Hendrix or Cook? I think that might have been Cook. 
That was Cook. The new kid I had doubts about has now tied this game up. Come on, guys. I normally say come on, guys, near the end of the match. Like, come on, let's get this win. Let's get it done. But, um, uh... Yeah, right now I'm just saying it because I want the win. I've noticed that Hendrick is actually playing kind of defensive. Oh, LaSalle's? Okay. I am not a fan of that. Hendrick is supposed to be more of like a winger. Well, now Hendrick's kind of up in the attack. Oh, yes. Oh no, what was that shot, Miggy? Miggy. I just realized there's purple on these jerseys. Although they still look dope. Oh, whoa. I did not see that. Oh, no. They won right by me. Oh, no. Not again. The same guy. 2-1. Oh, Once again, playing from behind. All right. Yellow card. I don't know why I was being so quiet right there. Sometimes I, I just like to be quiet and focus on my play. Oh my god, what was that shot? Yo, Malin. Oh, San Maximan! Oh. Can't believe we're missing these chances. Like, seriously, we need to be scoring on these things. Like, this type of stuff is unacceptable. Alright. Come on, do not let them score third. Okay, LaSalle's. Oh, Ford to Wilson. To Malin. No, it's Malin. Forgive me. Uh... Oh, what? Oh, oh, how did we not score there? How, how have we not scored there? Alright, Hendrick is getting tired surprisingly fast. We have to bring on Rain soon. Well, whatever. Come on, guys. Oh no! And they've gotten the third. Alright, that's it. Ultra attacking format. We need goals. We need goals now. Come on. I'm gonna be so annoyed if we lose this. All right. All right. Oh. 
Oh, what a challenge. Come on, Hendrik. Ooh. I'm sorry, but what? How did I just trip up in the box? All right. I'm gonna look to make some subs. Yeah, Hendrik is coming off for Reyna. And maybe actually cook for Longstaff too while I'm at it. <sighs> Come on, lads. We have about 25 minutes left in the game to um, uh, score twice. What? How the heck did it just bounce off him like that? Okay, we gotta defend this. Sweet. Alright. Malin is off. Oh no, he's off. I wasn't trying to pass it to San Maxima. Alright. I think it's about time we make our final sub. Nope, not too much. We need fresh legs up top. So I'm gonna bring in... Gale, I think, over Jolington, because Jolington is slightly tired. And I think Gale might actually be a bit faster. Luckily, they didn't get a fourth there. I'm trying to look on the bright side right now. Now look on the dark side, which is the fact that we are dying. Dubravka, good save, although it's probably not going to matter in the grand scheme of things. Alright, we need to go, go, and go if we want to no, know it's game. Alright, may as well get a consolation goal with Almiron. Oh. The fact that I just screwed that up makes everything look worse on me. Well, there you have it. 3-1 loss. Not the ideal final. But, I mean, that's how it works in soccer. You lose, you lose. Or as a lot of you would call it, football.
So, let's look at some of our upcoming schedule. So, we got Aston Villa away. West Brom away. I mean, at home. We go over to Brighton to play them. And then we play Leicester at home. So, I'm thinking maybe next episode we play Aston Villa. Sim West Brom. I'd be shocked if we lose that. Um, Play Brighton and Leicester. And then that should do it. So, we'll just finish off the month. And then the next episode, we're going to play the next month. Dang, that's a hard month. We got City away, Arsenal at home, and then... Once... uh, So, save and quit. Um, Well... It was nice having you guys. Um, uh, I had a really great time filming my first video. So, uh, see ya. Bye.